my beautiful soul welcome to another yoga flow with me i'm lucy and i am delighted to have you here again on my channel this is day four i believe i keep getting that wrong yes it's day four today of my 31 day challenge that is running throughout the whole of january so get on board it doesn't matter if you are only just starting we're going to try and do yoga every day this month if you are enjoying my content, please do like my videos and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me and it just means that I can grow my channel, grow my passion and reach more people. Thank you so much in advance. I'm truly, truly grateful. This is a vinyasa flow that I have designed and it's perfect for getting your heart rate up. So we're going to be moving quite quickly with the breath and kind of sinking the poses so that we're moving in a nice flowy fashion which is just really nice for the body it gives you like a really nice sensation it gives your mood a boost and it's a good workout as well it's going to get your heart rate going so if you want to get some endorphins flowing this is a great flow for you so let's hop on the mat and let's flow okay we're going to begin the practice today in tabletop so stacking the joints Wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips. And just starting to slow down the breath and come into the body. And spread your fingers nice and wide and press down into the earth. Press down the tops of the feet. And just start to focus on the breath. Feel the ground beneath you. And broaden through the shoulder blades. So just find that activation in the upper back, creating space in the upper back. Finding a little activation in the core. So pull the belly in towards the spine. Just maintaining a neutral spine. And starting to slow the breathing down. On your next inhale, drop your belly, lift your heart, lift your gaze. And then exhale to round, pull the belly into the spine, press the earth away, chin to chest. And continue to move with the breath. And just starting this practice of connecting our movement to the breath, which we're going to try and maintain throughout the practice. And you can tune into the movement along the spine as you move through your cat cows. Travelling your awareness from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Opening through the heart. And then rounding, pull the belly button and press the earth away. Tuning into that delicious movement. And just coming back to neutral on the next breath. We're going to start to circle the hips. So imagine that you're stirring a big pot of treacle with the hips here. And as you bring the weight forward, pressing down through the fingers and thumbs so you're not dumping in the wrists. You're trying, trying to, or rather starting to warm up the wrists a little bit here as well as finding some movement in the hips and you can start to connect to your center as well pull the belly in gently towards the spine just starting to slowly bring awareness into the different parts of the body
staying with the breath. And then bringing it back to neutral, back into tabletop, aligning the joints, really spread awareness into the fingers and thumbs, pressing down lightly into the feet and activate the core. So we want to find a, a neutral spine, belly pulls in, broaden through the shoulder blades. From here we're going to extend our right leg and left arm forward. So try and maintain that strong position through the core, press back through the right heel, toes turn down, reach with the left fingertips. Use your right hand and your left leg to maintain stability. Gazing down so we're not crunching the back of the neck. Lovely, take one more deep breath in. As you exhale, release the left hand, step the right leg all the way through. Landing in a lunge, check your alignment here, front, front knee over front ankle, and inhale, sweep the arms up. Pull the belly button in and up. Exhale, cactus the arms, bend at the elbows, open the chest, press everything back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, breathe in. Exhale, float the hands all the way back down. Left palm comes to the ground, inhale, twist. Right fingertips reach up. Open through that right shoulder. Exhale, and bring it back down. On the inhale, tuck the toes, lift the back knee, look forwards. Exhale for plank pose, step the right leg all the way back. Strong plank. Press the earth away, pull the belly into the spine. Deep breath in. As you exhale, lower the knees, keep the core tight, elbows in, lower the belly. Leading with the chest, inhale for cobra, elbows come in, loop the shoulders back. Use your inhale to rise, engage the muscles in your back, in your core, exhale, lower. Press it all the way back into downward facing dog. Lovely, take a moment here, pedal out your downward dog. Give the head a gentle shake, press the earth away. Breathing in and on the exhale, slowly lower the knees. Bring it back into tabletop, drop the belly, inhale, exhale, round. Inhale, and exhale. One more. Bring it back to neutral. This time as you inhale, send the left leg back, reach the right fingertips forward, energize that left leg, press back through the heel, flat back, belly pulls in. Press down firmly into the left hand and the top of the right foot for stability. Breathe as you gaze down. One more inhale. And exhale, release the right hand, step the left leg through. Low lunge on the other side. Check your alignment first, then inhale, sweep the fingers up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, float the hands all the way down. Plant the right palm, inhale and twist. Left fingertips reach up. Exhale to release. Tuck the toes, lift the back knee, breathe in, look forwards. Exhale for plank pose. Well done, deep breath in, pull the belly into the spine, press the earth away. 
exhale to lower, lower the knees, elbows come in tight, lead with the chest. Inhale for Cobra. Exhale for Downward Dog. Well done, take a deep breath in. Let it go through the mouth. One more like that, inhale. And release. Bend the knees, look forward, step to the top of the mat. Finding forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway, get long. Exhale, forward fold, moving with the breath. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Slow it down. Inhale. Lengthening the spine, pulling the shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward, take it deeper. Last one. Soft bend in the knees, inhale. Sweep the fingers all the way up. Bring the palms together, extended mountain pose. Reach the fingertips up and back. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a moment. Breathing in, releasing, maybe with a sigh. Inhale, fingertips to the sky, extended mountain. Exhale and fold, hinge at the hips. Keep a flat back, hinge at the hips. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left leg steps back, lowering the back knee for a lunge. Inhale, sweep the fingers up. Exhale, cactus. Breathe and squeeze the shoulders together. Exhale, float the hands down. This time, this time on the twist, tuck the toes, lift the back knee. Inhale. Reach the right fingertips up. Option to keep that knee down if you prefer. Exhale to release. Take a deep breath in as you look forward. Exhale, plank. Inhale, pull the belly into the spine. Exhale, lower. You can lower the knees or stay on the toes this time. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing duck. Lovely deep breath in. And let it go. One more like that. Hold the breath there, bend the knees, look forward, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Moving with the breath again, inhale. Really lengthening, exhale, folding. Keep flowing. Close the eyes down, slow your breathing. Well done. One more, inhale, allow the crown of the head to pull away from the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, inhale, sweep the fingers up. Extended mountain, exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment, deep breath in. Maybe a big sigh or a gentle sigh. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale and fold. 
inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right leg steps back this time, lower the back knee. Inhale to rise. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, float the hands down. Right palm comes to the ground. You can tuck the toes, lift the back knee as you breathe in. Big twist, breathe out to release. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plank pose. Strong plank, pull the belly button in. Breathe, press the earth away. One more breath in. Exhale, you can lower the knees or stay on the toes. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Lovely. Deep breath. Pedal it out, shake the head, yes and no. Pull the belly button in, lift the hips up high and melt the heart towards the thighs. Slow your breathing. One more. Exhale. Bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's flow. Exhale, fold. Three more at your own pace. Inhale to rise, extended mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left leg steps back. Lower the back knee, inhale, reach the fingers up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Breathing in. Exhale, and float the hands forward. Inhale, tuck the toes, lift the back knee, twist. Exhale to release. This time we're gonna bring that back heel down, turn the toes slightly to point to the top left hand corner of the mat, finding warrior two stance. Aligning right heel and left arch. Find that position with the legs first. Find a strong foundation. And then windmill the hands all the way up. Sinking nice and deeply into that right knee. Pressing into the outer edge of the left foot. Belly pulls in and up. Draw the tailbone down. Open up through the inner thighs. Gaze over the right fingertips. Relax the shoulders. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Keep a deep bend in that right knee, sending right arm up and over. Exhale, side angle. Let's flow with the breath. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Keep the legs strong. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Last one. Mm. 
well done one more breath in reverse and exhale windmill down frame your right foot pivot on your left foot so you in you're in a runner's lunge inhale to look forwards exhale for plank well done deep breath in pull the belly in exhale lower inhale for cobra exhale downward dog deep breaths pedal it out if you want to find some nice movement one more deep breath in let it go hold it bend the knees look forward step to the top of the mat inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold moving with the breath make it your own and bring the hands up higher onto the thighs and take them around the backs of the knees maybe fingertips stay on the ground last one inhale exhale inhale to rise extended mountain palms to come together take it up and back exhale hands to heart center inhale send it up exhale and fold forward keep a flat back as you hinge at the hips inhale for halfway lift Exhale, right leg steps back. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, cactus the arms. Breathing in. Exhale, float the fingers down. Tuck the toes, lift the back knee. Inhale, twist, left fingertips reach up. Exhale to release. Bring the back heel down, preparing for Warrior two, check your alignment, right arch, left heel, toes can point slightly at an angle to the top of the mat. Inhale to windmill the hands up. You can make any adjustments when you get up here. Draw your tailbone down, pull your belly button in, send the left knee out over the toes and make sure it's not caving inwards and really press down into the outer edge of the right foot. Strong warrior pose. Shoulders relaxed. Inhale, flip your left palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle, let's flow. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Two more. Last one, inhale. Exhale. One more, reverse warrior, inhale. And exhale, windmill down. Frame the left foot, pivot on the right foot, inhale, look forwards. Exhale, plank. Well done, last plank. Breathe in, pull the belly into the spine. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding for three breaths. Slow it down.
And then on the exhale, just slowly lower the knees with control. Send it back into child's pose. Big toes together, bum to the heels. Extend the arms forward, relax the forehead down. And just start, starting to slow the breath down here. As you breathe in, look forward. As you breathe out, press lightly into the palms. Use your centre to come up. We're going to swing the legs around into a seated position. And just take the legs out long in front of you. Find the sit bones. Flex the feet, take a moment to sit up nice and tall, lengthen through the spine. Try and avoid any collapsing through the lower back. As you breathe in, sweep your fingertips up. Lengthen as much as you can through the spine, pull the belly button in and up. Shoulders away from the ears, breathe. Press your legs down into the ground. Feel activation in the legs. One more inhale as you lengthen. And exhale, fold forward, reaching for the feet. Take it slow and try and move here from the pelvis so we want to try and bring the as if we're kind of relaxing the belly towards the thighs rather than just ending up in this position here so it's more of a sensation that we're going for at the pelvis rather than just getting super close to the ground we want it to come from here so if there's a little bend in the knees that's fine maybe you work to straighten the legs you can find a little movement perhaps, or just grab hold of the feet. And wherever you're at, just start to relax through your face. So you're breathing down. And you just take one more breath in. Now your exhale to roll the body up. Take your awareness along the spine from the base all the way into the crown of the head. And then we're going to finish in a seated position today. So you can stay here, legs extended, or come into a cross-legged position, or even sit back on the heels. And just finding a moment of stillness to finish on. As you breathe, I want you to send the breath up and down the spine. Along the energy centers, we've got seven of these energy centers that run from the base of the spine all the way to the crown of the head. So as you breathe in, Send the breath 
from the base of the spine into the crown of the head. Feel your posture lifting and opening. As you breathe out, send that energy back down the body and feel a sense of grounding, being connected to the earth, being safe and secure. And just connect to those two energies as you breathe. And just take these final few moments here to allow yourself to be present, to be fully here. Notice if the mind is wandering or thinking about your to-do list. And just give it permission to stop doing that. Just for this last minute. Allow any remaining tension to leave the body as you breathe out. And we'll bring our fingertips to the earth. Take another deep breath in as you lengthen along the spine. Relax your shoulders as you breathe out. As you inhale, sweep your fingers up towards the ceiling, taking your gaze towards the fingers. And then exhale, bring your hands slowly down into the heart center and bow your head. Namaste and thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this flow today. If you did, please give my video a like, subscribe to my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you and thank you so much for joining me in this practice. I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow, hopefully. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mm -hmm.